All right, so while my daughter's in her room and not being loud and, you know, obnoxious in the living room where I'm at right now, I'm going to go ahead and show you something. So I'm going to launch Dead Trigger here, and it's just going to be a brief, quick tutorial on something. Uh, I've got all the things I need open but the Play Store, so there we go. I'm going to launch Dead Trigger and show you how far I've gotten. All right, so my Moga Pro is dead. It's charging at the moment. I'm gonna see if this Moga Pocket has any battery life in it. So I need to open up the uh, Moga Pivot app and go to my controller. And it'd be nice. One thing I'd like to see is if they um, ever updated it towards like it showed you the battery life of the controller. That would be freaking awesome and insane. So yeah. All right, the controller is ready to go. Let's go back to Dead Trigger. And then it gives us a neat little option, like Y is to reload, X is to select weapon, A is to use item, B is to select item, so. All right, I'm gonna show you how far I've gotten, my progress, and yeah, let's do this. So I can, I'm moving around, aiming, and I've got zero dollars, and I really don't like the pocket. I mean, I guess it, it is better than touching the screen, but when you've gotten used to the Moga Pro, the pocket just feels, um, I don't know, like the, nub, the little nubs on there remind me of the PSP, and yeah, it's, just, it's not very, uh, oh wow, it's, I'm in the water, and you can see like the particle effects of the water. That's pretty freaking awesome. So yeah, anyways, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of this game, and then just swipe it out of the way. I'm gonna go back to my Dropbox, and in here you can see where I have my TIBKP file, and this is important, this is my backup. So I'm gonna go ahead and press on it. It's going to download, and then it's gonna ask me what to import it in. So I'm gonna choose Titanium Backup, and then, when this pops up, I'm going to do data only since I have the game installed and we are done with that. So we can go back to uh, Titania Backup. Oh, I'm sorry. I hit the wrong one. All right. So I'll go back to, um, I guess, where is Dead Trigger? Right there. When I launch Dead Trigger, it should be quite different. Like, in a good way. <laughs> so, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Back. It is very, very different. Oh, come on. What did I press? Um, da, 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 da. how do I do this again? Okay, so I could choose like this one for example, and for equip, I have all all this stuff. I can buy whatever I want to buy. Um, this shotgun actually kind of sucks, so I'm gonna go ahead and choose. I've already got a Winchester, my Colt, I'll choose the, do I have another rifle? No I don't, I'll, so I'll choose the, um, this one. So I got a revive kit, got a turret. Alright, here we go, got things set up, got them the way I like them, let's do this. The only thing I'm trying to get to this point now is my um, my experience. That's been a uh, challenge thus far, but I think I'll crack it. I think I'll get it. It's just going to take me a little bit of time. So now I just choose like what gun I want. I really, really like this one. See, it makes it a little bit harder because the joysticks are nubs, like I said, and they're not analog. So, 
Oh, I didn't mean to set that. How did I set that? Oh, I guess uh, A sets my uh, turrets up. See? It, it's really hard to aim, but I don't know. Still. But yeah, so when my Moga Pro controller charges up, because it doesn't have batteries like the Moga Pocket, it takes triple A's, I will play this game some more, and I will try to get my rate my experience to be a maximum possible so I can buy every gun available. But yeah, this has been a video by WWJoshDW, and this was technically how to restore uh, data from a TIBKP file.